Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today we're talking about finger knitting a blanket. And you can finger knit a blanket. Um, there's different ways to do it. Uh, this is one way that I am. I will make a long chained row and you'll see this one long row that comes out. Um, it's not really a row so much as it's a very long length that comes out whenever you do it. But lots of people go, well, how do I make this wider? Say I want to make it into a scarf or a blanket or a cowl or whatever. So um, what you do is you're going to you're gonna knit along and make the length that you want of your blanket. And then you're going to use this technique that I'm about to do um, to connect the panels. Now, you can use whatever stitch you want. I'm going to show you in kind of a flat knit stitch. Um, Anyway, if you want to see different stitches that you can make, check out my loom knitting tutorials. Uh, things you need always with finger knitting is you're going to need scissors. You can also get a stitch marker that opens. Okay, so when you're ready, um, you can um, close it up. But um, this is only one stitch marker, so you'd have to have four. But I would say if you'd like to get a stitch a holder that would be great because you might want to stop and you might want to pick up all these stitches so if you had to you could go along and pick up all your stitches and then you would just close this up so that would be how you would do it and close it up now this is a little confusing because I'm about to show you how to start a row so when you finish a row you're gonna find that um, there's only one loop left and so that's why just having a single stitch marker would be the best bet so you just put it on here and this is one that locks and closes so you can throw this whole thing in your bag and know that your knitting is safe if it's um, you know two minutes or or 20 months <laughs> between when you're knitting so um, all right we're gonna get started and so grab your favorite ball of yarn make a length and when you're ready to add uh, start this up okay I'm going to cast on and uh, you've already got um, four on your, um, uh, I'm sorry, you already have four loops on your fingers if you've already got your length. So I'm going to show you how to, what we call bind off, okay? All right, I'm gonna show this again in the video and you're gonna see it at the end of a row, but if you need to bind off for the first time on your, on your first um, row only, this is how you finish it off. So what you're gonna do is, um, your, um, your working yarn will actually, you need to get it over to this side. Um, you'll find out why, but we're going to have to get um, the particular stitch all the way back over here. So make sure your yarn is um, coming from this finger and start here. So you're going to knit this stitch and then knit the one on your index, on your, so you knit the index finger and then your middle finger and then you take the one from your index finger or your middle finger over to your index finger, okay? and then um, bind that off, okay? Then you're gonna move this one from the index over to your middle finger. This becomes your number one peg. So this was one, two, three, four, and now we're gonna be moving the number one peg or your number one finger over. <laughs> so I know it sounds funny, but bear with me. So now that we've done that procession here, now we're going to knit the number two, or this is your ring finger, so we're going to knit that over and take the ring finger, which is the two, back over to the one, which is your middle, and knit that off. Okay, so now we've knit that off. We're going to move it, moving the one over. Now we have one and two left, so we're gonna knit the two, which is now your pinky, and move the pinky stuff over to the one, which is the ring finger, and then knit that over. You're left with one. Now you're gonna take this and move it all the way back to the one, okay? Now make sure you're knitting it may be falling down like this so make sure when you start what we're about to do it's going to start all the way to where your knitting is um, up like this so you'll be looking at the back side it'll look like this these are the little pearl bumps okay this is a knit stitch on the back uh, well this is actually technically was the front of your work and then this is the back which is the pearl we're going to work on the pearl side so you're going to get this nice ribbed um, look it's kind of stretchy and everything so this is actually with three strands of a worsted weight you could use a bulky yarn now um, this is not how it's supposed to look again I was just doing that to show you how to finish it off so I'm gonna make it back to having uh, one stitch on there okay so now you'll have the one left from your bind off okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to cast on we're gonna get the yarn on our fingers so I'm gonna do a thumb cast on I'm gonna take my thumb and put it down under the yarn 
and then kind of spin it around like this. Okay, so it makes an upside down E like this. Okay, this is like a cursive E, but you're going to make this part come out the bottom. And put that on and kind of pull it up to tighten it a little bit, not too tight. Do the same thing. Put your thumb down where it's covered and then put it right side up and then place it on your finger. And one more time and put that on here. You may have to practice practice it a couple of times. It's called a thumb cast on for needle knitting. Um, we also call it a half hitch um, for loom knitting. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we've got the working yarn, which is this working yarn coming off that is attached to your ball, coming from our pinky. So we're going to lay it over our pinky and then all the rest of our fingers. And then you can take this with your fingers and li lift the bottom loop over the top and then you've knit one stitch. So do that on all of them. Lift the bottom over the top on all the fingers. Okay, and then we pull it a little tight. Uh, I will tell you that you can, another tool that you uh, would be benefited to have is a loom knit tool, um, a pick. Let me get one and show you. This is a, uh, a loom knit pick and um, it doesn't matter what brand you use. This particular one is from Knitting Board and they sell it online only. It's got a cushion in it and a fabric casing. So if your hand gets tired, especially if it has some pinching motion on it, um, it causes a problem here, um, you can use this uh, pick. So you're gonna see me use it, but you can also use your fingers. Okay, so now we're going to take our working yarn and go around our index finger here. And we're going to, um, place uh, one of these loops on our index finger, which is your first finger. So this is where we need to really pay attention. Okay, you can see all this knitting that's coming from here and there's a big, looks like a knot right here. Okay, you're going to ignore the knot, follow this strand, we're gonna ignore this first strand here, and we're gonna come to the next one. You see that there's a row here with a knot and then another row with a knot. You're gonna take this loose strand on the outside of that, okay? So you're gonna skip and then go to this one. Put that on your finger. Just take it from the back side, place it on. Okay, now you're gonna take your working on because see you got it out of the way. And now we're gonna take it and lift the bottom over the top or you can use this. Of course, be careful not to poke yourself. Okay, and then now you're gonna knit the rest of these. So we're going to work this. Okay, so that row is the one where we've added a row from over here. Now we're going to work our way back. You don't pick up anything on this row. It's very important that you knit that first row without adding anything on. Uh, if you don't knit that first row, your blanket is going to um, get smaller and smaller and it's not going to be the right size. So go ahead and now that we've um, we did that first row, we came back and did a second row. Now move your working strand over to get it out of the way. Go ahead and put another one on. So you're gonna skip the one that you're on and then go to the next. Okay, so you see we're skipping and then going to the next loose stitch. We're picking up stitches. All right, so you're going to continue. I've got three at a time, so I'm grabbing those three strands at the same time. Knit those over. Okay. So you're going to work on knitting those over, and then of course you're going to finish the second row. Okay. And then you're going to pick up more stitches on the next row. And you're going to just going to continue doing this the entire time. Okay, so you're going to go through the length of your entire um, line that you had, okay, of your finger knitting. So pull that back around, pick the stitch up. Again, it's not this really long one that's right next to it, it's the next one. So just kind of pull on it, stick that finger in there, and then knit it over. And you can knit both at the same time or one at a time like I did. Okay, so... Uh, the next time we're going to meet back up, I'm going to um, fast forward in my video and we will be at the end of this row and then uh, you can see how we will get ready to flip the blanket and go on to the next row. Okay, so pause your video and uh, we'll meet you back in a second. 
Okay, so you're knitting along and you're near the end and you've got this long piece, you've got one more and then another one at the end. Go ahead and knit this one as you've been doing, making sure to put that working yarn over the back. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, knit these over. Continue. It's okay if you kind of stretch out your stitches. And then I just kind of pull them tight after I do it. That way I can get my hands around it. Okay, so I've made my way back. Go ahead and pull my yarn over again. Okay, now if you can see this, there's the leading yarn that we had, and then there's this very last stitch, and it's kind of loose because this was where your fingers were on originally. And uh, you can go back and make these tighter with a crochet hook later, but um, really, it's not really necessary. It kind of adds a, a nice scalloped um, edge to your work. See how it's kind of scalloped on one end and then this is where a tighter bind off is so it's got kind of a cool effect and you can also add fringe or something too so okay so now I pulled that last one which was a cast on stitch and so we're going to bind off we're going to do as before where we knit two over one now this is the first one uh, in the bind off this is what I'm calling the number one finger here and we've got our number two which is the middle finger here and then we knit that over and then we're going to take the two and put it on top of the one which is the in the middle finger over the index finger okay we can knit that over move the one over to the two and now this becomes the one okay so now we're going to knit the ring finger which is your new number two okay and move the two to the one knitting that off Okay, so now moving this over to the ring finger, you've got two left, knit this last stitch on the pinky, which is your number two, pick that up and put it on the one, which is on your ring, knit that off, okay, and see, this is what I was talking about earlier, so now we have one on this ring finger, we're going to pick it up and move it all the way over to our index finger, okay, so whether you're right or left handed, I'm doing this on my left because I'm right handed, but I could flip this video just to make it easier for people who are, um, left-handed and then they can do it on the right so um, it doesn't really matter so now you're left with the one this is where you could um, you could choose to if you were done with your blanket you could choose to cut your yarn and then you would just pull this all the way through and weave in your end uh, or you could um, continue by um, this is where we'll cast on so I'll show you how to cast on and start again so if you're doing your next row this is where we flip so I'm going to take all my knitting that's now fallen down here I'm going to flip it Okay, this is how we're getting this really cool ribbed effect, which is really kind of kind of neat. So to shape it and make stuff smaller or bigger, you can just skip inward a few spaces and um, skip some stitches, and then you can make it smaller and do some shaping. Um, or you can add on these rows and add extra to make it longer on one side. So this is that's up to you. Okay, so now we're going to do this thumb cast on again. So take your thumb and go down on top of the yarn and twist up and put it on this index finger down and twist up oh and I have a knot in my yarn oh there we go fixed it okay and then down twist up and now you've successfully cast it on these fingers and then go ahead and knit over one row okay all right so you've got it so go ahead and pull your yarn over here and then we're going to go ahead and, and cast on we've got this part uh, right here that it's leading from okay there's this big old knot here and it's leading from here and we want to grab this first stitch and then knit over okay so you're just going to keep going along like that until you get the length that you want it doesn't really matter what blanket size i have right now because it's whatever size that you want um, you could just do maybe a couple of these and then um, then sew together the ends and make like a cowl or an infinity scarf or something like that. But this is really nice and soft. And um, if you're curious, I have three um, I have three strands here, but I'm actually working from one ball of yarn. And the way I do it is um, I do uh, this method here, which I've got a video of. I will post a um, uh, I will post the tutorial on how to do that. It's a Navajo plying technique. And um, I show the video with crochet, but you can do it um, for anything. So um, when you end up coming to the end of this loop that's here, see this loop? You actually end up grabbing, 
through the loop this piece of yarn and then keep going on and then when you put it together it becomes three strands so it's a, a really great way to make use of uh, one ball of yarn and then you just keep tying them on so if you want to check out that video you're welcome to it I hope this has helped you today please sure be sure to um, look in the comments for our website be sure and, um, and that's in the description um, if give us a like and a comment if this has helped you or if you need maybe a slower video on it and um, please subscribe thanks for tuning in to good Knit kisses I'm your host Kristen bye bye